everyone and welcome to my channel today. I do have a very special video planned for us and I hope you will enjoy uh, seeing a little bit of my cast process and uh, watching how I create a warrior elf girl. You will see that I started out by uh, using the randomizer button. I prefer using that as a tool to make sure that I have enough diversity uh, when I create, just to make sure that all of my sims don't turn out as clones of each other. So I prefer not using a base sim and just randomizing the sim like this so that I am sure to have, you know, many different features each time that I create. I'd love to hear what you guys do. Do you have one base sim, many base sims? Do you use the randomizer button like I do? I'd love to learn also from all of you. So be sure to um, comment and leave lots of comments for me so that we continue the learning process with each other. Uh, I was asked to make a cast video by some friends, um, which I found very flattering. And I wasn't quite sure why they asked me to do it. So I'll put in a little disclaimer and let you guys know that I purposely didn't speed up parts of this video because I felt like when I was asked to show my cast process, that meant that people really wanted to see how I shaped the face. And so I purposely didn't uh, slow this down for that reason. I feel like even, you know, with speed videos, I don't learn a whole lot. These speed builds, I cannot really see what the creators are doing. So I end up actually not really learning anything by watching that. And uh, it's the same with the cast videos that we speed up. So really, I slowed it right down or I kept it at the same speed that I recorded so that you could really see what I was doing. Um, and then I cut out the boring parts, of course. So, so hang in there. At, uh, <laughs> I hope it's not too tedious, uh, but let me know if you prefer I speed it up next time. This sim is very much uh, Maxi's match uh, sim, the way that she turned out, I feel. Uh, and I hope you agree with me. I was very careful to only select a few pieces of CC. Um, and to really be respectful of that and to make sure that she's not so CC heavy that it will take hours to download the entire CC list. So um, I will be linking the CC below in the description if you're looking for it uh, so that you may find any of the pieces that you see here. And if you're interested in using it or even um, interested maybe in downloading her from the gallery. So I'll be sure to um, upload her to the gallery. If you put the CC that I list in the description in your mods folder, and you download her um, from the gallery after that, she should show up complete, you know, the way that I intended her to be used. So uh, that's how that works. But if you have any questions and you're not sure how all of that works um, and you're new to CC, feel free to um, message me on Twitter. I am a very, very friendly and helpful simmer. So feel free to just DM me there and I can help you if you're looking for a piece of CC or if something's not working for you, I can help you. So I did have a little bit of difficulty to see which tattoos and which makeup will actually show up with this purple uh, skin for her. But I did find a few pieces that I really liked in the end. And I ended up uh, removing this face marking right at the end. So you'll see she's, she's wearing that face marking uh, right until the end of the video. And then right at the end, I remove it um, because they do interfere with each other just a little bit. So let me know if you guys agree that she, she, she is a Maxi's match sim or if you feel that she's maybe a little bit uh, CC heavy and you're actually laughing at me for saying she doesn't have that much CC. I would love to hear what you all think. Um, I, did ha I did manage to find a whole lot of tribal elements which I really like and which really turned out very, very well. This hair piece doesn't actually go with this hair. You know, they weren't downloaded together, uh, but the, it, it worked out really well and they look really good together. So I was pretty chuffed with that. And I also found a necklace from Blahberry Pancakes that I felt was, um, you know, had that tribal look just because I felt like tribal and warrior go really well together. So that was a really great find. I was really excited about that. And then I, I discovered that we have purple swatches in Get Famous. <laughs> so she's wearing um, no CC um, for her entire outfit. So just the outfit, of course, is no CC. And she's wearing the boots from Nifty Knitting, which um, fantasy sims seem to look really good in. So I love the addition of the of the boots from Nifty Knitting for her. The shiny lipstick is, I think, uh, 
get together so that's what's making those lips shine like that and then i chose this walk style for her just because i felt like she has a lot of sass and i want to see her strutting her stuff like this in elvenberg so Alvenberg is a hashtag you can check out on the gallery for any no CC elves that you're looking for. It's a hashtag that we all started um, just to give the elves all of the love that they deserve. So if you're into elves, be sure to check out that hashtag. It's called Alvenberg. And you can also check out the fantasy save um, hashtag on the gallery if you're into fantasy sims in general. You'll find some really nice things there. Uh, without further ado, I did want to invite all of you to the Monsters Ball this year. It's a Halloween event. And if you would like your monster to attend this ball, you should definitely use the Monster Ball hashtag in your creation. Um, so put that in the description and then we'll be sure to include them in you know in the ball so i hope to see you all there all the information you need is right here on this thumbnail but i'll put some more information in the description for us too phew it's gonna be a really long description if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel is brand spanking new bye guys see you soon